How's it going everyone? Today we're gonna be testing a concept that almost changed aviation as we know it. Many of you may have seen this viral video from a channel named Mustard about the oblique wing. If you haven't seen it yet, you really should, I really recommend it. Uh, in my mind as a pilot, yes I'm a real pilot, um, it shouldn't work, but I guess it does. So I'll get to building and let them do the explanation. In nature, anything that flies has symmetry. And in the early days of human flight, mimicking nature made sense. But as we pushed onto ever higher speeds, our stubborn insistence on symmetry might have been a mistake. In the 1950s, a brilliant NASA engineer began to push for a radical new approach, proving theoretically, and with prototypes, that aircraft didn't have to be symmetrical. The implications of his work are profound. It suggests we should be flying a lot faster and more efficiently than we are today. Hey there, are you not subscribed yet? Well, you should be. This small channel is gonna be big real quick and I want you to be part of it. So subscribe now and let's get back to the video. Okay, so I'm not trying to make it pretty, I'll focus on functionality, my main goal now is to get it to break the speed of sound, and also I wasn't sure if I want to use a servo or steering hinges, cause steering hinges will not give me the exact same effect that I want, but in the video they compare it to a swept wing, so I want to try both. A new challenge emerged, designing an aircraft that would perform well in both flight regimes. Any aircraft optimized for supersonic flight would, by definition, fly poorly at subsonic speeds. Because the ideal wing at lower speeds was long and straight, but for supersonic flight it was thin or sharply swept, a shape that struggled to generate lift at lower speeds. Engineers struggled to find a solution, eventually coming up with a kind of wing that could transform in mid-air functioning more like a straight wing at subsonic speeds and sweeping back for supersonic flight. But variable sweep wings created their own set of problems. Pivot mechanisms had to bear immense lift, rotational and bending forces. Shifts in the center of lift had to be compensated for with larger stabilizers or other systems, all of which added weight and complexity, largely undoing performance gains. Variable sweep wings were only successfully applied to a small number of military aircraft, none of which are still produced today. The sound barrier might not have been an actual barrier, but it seemed that flying faster would always involve serious trade-offs. Okay, so let's confirm something that we all already know. Uh, swept wing does help with speed, especially at supersonic speeds. Uh, let me demonstrate it for you guys. It's pretty straightforward. As long as the wing is open, we have more air resistance, therefore we go slower. As soon as we sweep the wing back, we get less air resistance, therefore we get more speed and we can go supersonic. I'll put some sort of animation above the speedometer so you guys can see um, how the sweeping affects the speed. Okay, it's time for the oblique wing. Holy, what the heck was that? Um, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, uh, it's finished. I put the wing on servo uh, instead of the steering hinges just to make it as close as possible to the to the prototypes in the video. Um, place your bets now. What do you think is gonna happen? Oh, it seems to work. It kind of rolls me. Okay, let's try that again. Let's take off. Whoa, okay. This is not the best plane, I must admit, but it gets the job done. And just like the video said, it's really hard to balance a swept wing plane. 
uh, because the center of lift keeps moving and it makes things a lot more complicated. Anyway, let's go Superman mode and see if it works. Well, it does seem to work pretty well. Um, it does seem to have a problem with rolling. I mean, when I use the elevator, it tends to roll to the side of the back wing, I guess. But if I don't use too much pitch, it's pretty controllable. I can get used to it. It's flyable and you don't really need to use a lot of elevator at high speeds. So this is great. I didn't think it's actually going to work. That's amazing. Well, I guess you learn new stuff every day. I think it was a success. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye bye. So while editing, I realized I made a mistake. I put the wing way too forward. So I fixed it. And there you go.